I'm Tia. I'm the creative director of iPath, and we're here to bust some myths about COVID-19. Now, COVID-19 or the coronavirus, as we know, is an airborne viral infection with flu-like symptoms. A lot of the myths and worries that people have about COVID-19, primarily concerning the vaccine. Now, first of all, uh, I would just like to say, you know, getting vaccinated is the best way to really like beat this thing to get all of our immunities up. A lot of people are worried about the interaction of the vaccine if one is on any form of hormonal intervention. I would just like to clarify, it does not matter whether you are on masculinizing hormones or feminizing hormones, the vaccine does not interact with your hormones. However, it would still be a good idea to make sure that you keep your endocrinologist in the loop. Now, speaking of medical interventions, especially for trans and queer folk, if you are considering gender affirming surgery or any kind of surgical procedure to help you along on your gender affirmation journey, it is recommended to not go to the hospital right now for the simple reason that hospitals are a hotbed of infection. Hospitals might be understaffed, might be overworked. So just for that simple reason, it is best to maybe try to avoid going for any major surgery right now. However, speaking about um, a third facet, which is mental health. Now, mental health is something super important. It's, it's really important to cultivate systems of care. And it's also very important to be supremely cognizant of your own mental uh, well-being. Anytime you feel like you are slipping, anytime you feel like you're not doing okay, because it is very easy to spiral in these trying times you know especially when you see all this news of sickness and whatnot it's very important to keep in contact it's important to keep checking in and reach out when you need help now the last thing that i want to leave everybody with is a fun little acronym which is use covid to combat covid um so that is c for counsel and care o for obey the laws you know follow the lockdown stay indoors uh, v for vaccinate and protect, I for infection control, which means our best ways to deal with this is still wear a mask, wash your hands, maintain social distance, and D for disseminate the correct information. Uh, I hope that this was helpful to all of y'all. Thank you so much. I'm Tia. Have a very lovely day.